Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Leroy, and welcome to my channel, 40 and Broke. Woo, jazz hands. Jazz hands. Well, I've only got one hand because I got to use, you know, my hand to hold the. Okay, enough of that. Where was I at? Oh, yeah, this is Leroy, and welcome to my channel, 40 and Broke, where we're all about getting out of debt, saving, investing, and getting our finances under control so we can live the life we've always dreamed of because that's what it's all about living the life we've always dreamed of. So I'm coming here. I've got my December closeout. I want to talk about some of the things I'm doing with for the New Year's, for my January start of 2023. And it's 2023, y'all. January 3rd. So Happy New Year. I hope everybody's holidays were well. And we're going to break down everything that I had here in the month of December. So you see a lot of Louis on there. See, I went to, I went out to eat a lot. I broke that down, and I think that's like I spent like eighty dollars or a hundred dollars just on lunch for the month. So I'm really trying to crack back on that. And then what did I do yesterday? I spent five dollars on lunch. But anyways, so here we go. We're gonna start off the month with with our no spends. We had one no spend here. Then you see we got lunch at Louis. This was the day we went to Burger King, went to Walmart, so I only had one no spend for that week. Dollar General, $13, who knows what I spent. Save-A-Lot, $3. I'm gonna, what would I spend at Save-A-Lot that was only $3? Huh, I don't know. But the Straight Talk, that was a phone for $100 because my wife needed a new phone, so I got her an early Christmas present. And man, I wish I would have been paying attention to my Capital One Quicksilver, because one of the things was, if I would have gone through the website on my on the link on my Quicksilver uh, Capital One Quicksilver card, I could have got like 3 or 5% back on that, and I didn't do it. I used the Quicksilver card, but I didn't go through and use that link, so I only got the 1.5% back instead of the 3 or 5 or whatever it was. So yeah, I really screwed up there. So we got one, two, three, there's four. Oh, that's five more no spends. So that really saved me there. So that gave me a total of six no spends. Come back down for the week of the 11th. We got a no spend on the Sunday. That looks like it was a no spend weekend. Nice. So then I went to Louis for $3. So I do remember that. I bought a Mountain Dew. Then I had a no spend. Louis for $10. That means lunch. No spend. Gas 16, save a lot 20, and that ended up being a no spend because none of that were impulse purchases. Then here we go, Sunoco five dollars, which means where did I go that day? I went to Bob Evans, so what did I do? Huh, weird. So Sunoco, I bought, spent five dollars. I think Josie wanted some. We went out, we went out for dinner, breakfast that day, lunch. Now, I don't remember what it was, but uh, so I went to, I remember I went to the Sunoco. Josie wanted some fancy water called Liquid Death, and I got a Mountain Dew. We went to Bob Evans, and then we went to Meyer. I remember there was something we had to do for this day. We were, we were buying for something. And then that gave me a total of no, 10 no spends after the 17th. That day was definitely not a no spend day. I spent a lot of money that day. 18th ended up being a no spend. Louis for $6. You know what that means, lunch. I had this day off because Josie had her, uh, the 20th, was that? I think that was the day, yeah, we went to Mount Pleasant that day. So that was the day she had her choir where if uh, you didn't see it, she sang, she said D's nuts in one of her uh, uh, she said D's nuts in the, the song, you know. So I had to go to O'Reilly's three hundred and ten dollars. That was for um do 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 do, do my truck because my truck's being fixed. Dave's was twenty dollars and he's a local mechanic and I had to have a tire fixed. We went to Arby's for dinner, and then we went to McDonald's after the concert. So 
the kids wanted something and i think i got like a chocolate shake or maybe may, no the ice cream machine was down of course so but i got something too i can't remember louis ten dollars which means i bought lunch louis six dollars so i bought lunch dg three dollars mountain dew I bought mountain dew those days i was like well i've already spent money today might as well go buy a couple mountain dews so i can have them for the rest of the week then no spend and no spend, which put me at 13, which is always the number I shoot for. I always shoot for 13 no spends. Christmas Day was obviously a no spend. We didn't do anything on Christmas Day because uh, the kids had to go to their dad's, so we did 24th. We opened gifts on the 24th. And then the 25th, we just hung out all day. 26th, I went to Louie's for lunch. 27th, I went to Burger King for lunch. 28th, I went to Louie's for lunch. 29th, I spent $20 at Walmart, and that would have been a no spend, except I think I spent like $3 on a chicken patty or something like that because I was hungry. And then Chris, that's $8. That was a, a no spend, or that was a lunch. So I ended up having a total of 14 no spends. I forgot to write that down, but there's 13 plus that one. Now here's the big thing. Check this out. My found money in the month of December, $14.50, which put me at a total of $62.84 for found money. So that's me looking in vending machines, looking on the ground, finding money in various places. I found $62.84. And then $89.69 was the total change that I had. So that means like, you know, if I went out and bought something, I paid cash for it and I got some change back, it would go into my change jar. But that that's how little that is. Seventeen dollars, less than seventeen dollars, was uh, is how much change I got from spending cash throughout the year. Sixty two dollars and eighty four cents was all money that I found on the ground or in vending machines, and I'm already starting this year off pretty good. So I found a quarter today so far, and I found I don't know thirty one cents yesterday. 41 cents actually i found a 10 cent uh jamaican coin and i guess i seen them on ebay that this year jamaican coin they're selling for like 2.95 a piece so eh, there's that but you'll see i don't have any uh i don't have any of the uh goals written down or anything like that so yeah well but there it is everybody that is my closeout and January, once again, I'm looking for 13 no spins. And I say I want to work out, but let's be honest, I probably won't. But there it is. All right, everybody. So that's what we have. That's my closeout. And I already talked about my goals and what happened with my other goals. So everybody, hey, let's hit 2023, hit the ground running, and keep hustling, everybody. Hit it hard.